Hi, this is Clint from Science Museum Oklahoma. I'm here all by myself, so I was able to take my mask off. I'm really excited because I just left Jumble, an exhibit by Andy Arkley and Julie Alpert. Now, Science Museum Oklahoma is an allied arts member agency. We strongly believe that the arts and sciences are very important for us all to have a wonderful life and understand the world around us. Now, coming out of this exhibit, I wanted to take it home with me, but it's far too big. Julie and Andy use light projection, wood cutouts, and sound to make something that just encompasses the room and you're able to push buttons and become part of the art. I wanted to take part of that magic home. So I'm gonna use a little bit of science to let me do it. Now, we probably are all recycling quite a bit right now. We might have some number six recyclable plastic in our house right now. Rather than throw it in the recycling bin, just double check that it does have that number six on the plastic, then you know it's polystyrene. It's made up of polymers that when heated and then cooled down quickly can take on cool shapes like this salad container. But if we reheat it again, all of those polymers get disorganized and shrink back down. So with a few things, some markers, some string, clamshell of course, some tongs for safety, some scissors, a flashlight, I'm going to take this exhibit home. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw on the clamshell. Then I'm going to cut it out, get a smaller piece, and I'll color in this piece as well. I'm going to go ahead and heat up my oven here. I'm just using a little toaster oven, but any oven you have at your house will work. And so I'm cutting out this plastic into a shape inspired by Jumble, the artwork I just saw. And even though I'm just cutting out one shape now, I'll cut out a lot more later. I'll put it on my oven here and then into the oven itself, letting it warm up. After a few minutes, I'm gonna take it out and it's going to be much smaller. And I'll wait for it to cool because right away if I touch it too soon, it could burn my fingers. That's why I'm gonna use these tongs. But after it cools down, I'm going to make multiples of them. And then I can put them in my box, little string, little tape, and have my own exhibit in the box. But like I learned from Julie and Andy, a little light, a little music makes it all better. <laughs> So this is just one way to make an exhibit in a box. How will you make an exhibit in a box? I'm Clint from Science Museum Oklahoma. Thanks for joining me for a little bit of art and science. And if you want to know how to do this, you can visit our website and go to the Smell at Home page. You'll see how to do shrinking activities and a lot of other really neat things.